body grows bigger. Your mind that's power. It's great to learn. Mo, mo, mo knowledge is mo power. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Mo Info with Mo Moffat. So, uh, tell me, audience, is it cold outside? Well, it seems we may never truly know now that the Christmas jingle classic Baby It's Cold Outside is being pulled from the air by numerous radio stations across the country. The reason? Well, let's just say there's been a bit of controversy behind some of the song's rather dated lyrics. Baby, it's bad out there. Say, what's in this drink? I simply must go. Baby, it's cold outside. The answer is no. Baby, it's cold outside. Some believe that the song insinuates a date rape scenario in which a man is coercing a woman into staying at his house and getting intoxicated. And it doesn't really help that in the song's original score, the male vocal part is labeled as wolf, and the female vocal part is labeled as mouse. Weird flex, but okay. So Glenn Anderson, a host from a radio station in Cleveland, said that his station removed the song from rotation after a poll was taken that revealed a majority of listeners found the song inappropriate and uncomfortable. When the song was written in 1944, it was a different time. But now, while reading it, it seems very manipulative and wrong. However, the song has managed to keep a group of very staunch supporters. Some argue that people are just taking the song's meaning too far out of context and that it should be examined from a historical perspective. Susan Loser, the daughter of the song's original composer, Frank Loser, defends the song as being mutually flirtatious and consenting. Her parents would sing the song together at parties to entertain guests. Certain feminists have even been vocally supportive of the song, claiming it to be an effort to furnish female sexuality during a time when staying at a man's house for the night was thought to be scandalous. So I guess this week, I'm wondering, what do you think? Is the song an enforcer of predatory male behavior? Or is it a coquettish little ditty that's been blown out of proportion and deserves to be played on the radio for two hours straight in Kentucky? Well, that's all I've got for today. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and comment what you think below. Happy holidays from all of us here at No Girl Left Behind, and I'll see you next time.